So what's come into the science arena now is genome sequencing. So it's now possible to sequence someone's genome for about $1,000. And the technology to actually sequence the genome is quite quick. It can be done in about 24 hours. And I think it will become even cheaper um, in the near future. Sequencing the genome is actually relatively quite straightforward. What everyone's working on now is interpreting that information. It's only really been recent years that we've had the full genetic code of people that we can now examine. So it's a really exciting time because what does it all mean? If we can check if it's going to get cancer or predisposed to heart disease or diabetes or allergies maybe, then we could do all those tests before we even put the embryo back in the woman. Because why would you transfer an embryo back to a woman that is going to get a disease? So what happens is you can make a small like a cassette with the pieces of DNA that you want in the right order. And then CRISPR-Cas9 will go in and it will cut out the bit that you don't want and it will insert the cassette of the DNA that you do want. But there are problems with the technology at this moment in time. We want to make sure that it only corrects that piece that we want it to correct and not anywhere else, we call off-target effects. And also we want to make sure that every cell that is edited will have the edit. And with an embryo, if we were doing this in an embryo, it's normally being done at the moment, the research is being done at the very early stage of the embryo when it's just one cell. So it would be possible to edit, for example, cystic fibrosis or beta thalassemia, but it would also be possible to edit for some characteristics such as eye colour. But a lot of characteristics in people are more complicated. For example, things like height and intelligence, we're still learning what all of that means and how it is um, predisposed genetically. But if we did find that out, it would be possible maybe to edit those and have an effect on those characteristics in the children born from this procedure. I just feel a little bit nervous about editing someone's genome. I think we would have to do a huge amount of work to really be sure that we're not having any negative effect on the embryo. Gender selection is done in many countries globally. It's legal to do that in many countries and it's not a medical reason to choose the gender of your child. Um, so it does worry me that some countries may give no legislation and some people start manipulating embryos just for, in my view, frivolous um, ideas such as changing some characteristics of your child. And if we edit the embryo, we've got to think about future generations. How, we, how would we be affecting them? <laughs>